around 6 o'clock this morning, an employee came into Henry's Smokehouse and noticed the hog holler was missing from back here. He said it had to have gone missing between 5 and 7 a.m. That's when he called police. Tiger O'Rourke owns Henry's. He says this is the first time anything like this has happened. It's not something you can hide. It is, it is as I said earlier, it's a, it's a red flag. I mean, it's, it's, it looks like a giant rolling rock cannon <laughs> with our name all over it. So it's not something that can be just kind of quietly hidden away. He says when he noticed it was gone, he called authorities and took to social media. That's when Ryan Thomas noticed it. My daughter opened up the door and she's like, what the heck? You know, she looks across the street and there's Henry Smokehouse's hog hauler. Sure enough, YFF4 put out a bolo for Henry Smokehouse's uh, hog hauler. O'Rourke says the cash register is missing, but there was no money in it. He also says the keys are still in the restaurant. For right now, he's just glad it's back. We got an event Thursday, so we'll just turn around and use it Thursday. And grateful for a community that helped get it there. It's an awesome thing. I mean, we've been a part of Greenville for 26 years now, and it's been great so far, and just the reaction from the community is huge to get us, help us get it back. Now, moving forward, Forensics is going to work on this case, trying to find fingerprints to see who might have possibly taken the truck. There were no cameras behind the Henry Smokehouse where the truck was actually taken from, but we did notice this camera above the door of the church, and it may not be able to see where the truck is, but maybe someone walked through and they got that on camera, so they're going to continue to look for that. Allison Powell, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.